strike that he was very intelligent. So I'm not surprised at all that his yeah. play style tends to go t more towards the lurk and the slower, kind of more passive play styles with agents such as Killjoy and Cypher. So that's going to be interesting to see how they are going to choose to use Killjoy on this map. I really can't wait to see. I mean, looking at what uh, we saw on some of the Nerd Street November monthly uh, Nerd Street Gamers, there was Icebox. We saw some Viper uh, showing up a few times. We saw Poach playing that from Ambox. But a lot of the times there, we didn't see too many strats. Yes, it was kind of like, hey, let's wait until somebody peeks this angle. Let's play through smokes a little bit. And then it became a firefight when you hit sights. But we did see Killjoy. We saw that picked up a lot of the times to hover over towards that A site holding a lot of the angles here. It looks like we are going to start off over there as well as we're watching Shot Up, and they're going to start with the majority of the team splitting lower of A. Yeah, they're just going to go for it there. The drone going straight through and a five-man push onto the A site. There's quite a lot here ready to try and defend this. Of course, three players there for Envy trying to hold on, but as everything is flying around, it's going to be quite chaotic to deal with this crash. He's trying to stay alive there up towards the rafters. Food also trying to bring things to light there with that dismiss on Reyna, keeping the pressure on. But it is looking quite, it's like quite the struggle here as he tries to find another one off of the Frenzy, but Hey man, brute force on the A site. That's how Immortals are going to start this off. And we, we have been talking about it. We've been mm -hmm. speculating. How do Immortals beat Envy? Envy, a team that we know has a great defense. They're very consistent. They're very structured. I feel like Immortals have to make the brute force work. And that's what we're going to see out of the game. Yeah, it's coming into this match. Uh, we talked about it a little bit. It was kind of Immortals having to play to the level of Envy and then some. And we see that matched aggression coming out in round one. I was surprised to see Envy hold it as much. Caboose and food on the rotation. That's a lot of firepower to bring back to a site. So the retake seemed possible until too many members of Envy tried to stay and hold. Here a little bit of love towards Crane. Caboose is going to be on top of that towards that B long side here as things slow down on round two with Immortals picking up that first one. Yeah, I, I like this a lot. You can see that Immortals just playing it very cautiously. They expect that there could be some shenanigans. There could be yep. some kind of a stack or a push. They want to make sure they can rule that out and play things as consistently using the advantage of weaponry that they have and giving as little as possible to Envy as they now start to systematically, methodically make their way forward onto the A site. And Envy, they don't really have much, of course, with this... this uh, it's a couple stingers that exist, and you know it is going to be somewhat of a force for them. So there is firepower, but the way that we're seeing the approach here from Immortals is looking quite good. That recon dart's going to make things, or it looks like it makes things quite easy for Neptune, but he's going to get taken down. And in the chaos, Envy are finding some frags. Yeah, quickly a three v two. Jamo's low as he gets dropped by Caboose. The sheriffs are coming up big here as a reload comes in for Caboose. Can his shots ring true? There's one to the face of Neptune. Will he be able to send this one over the moon? One more shot to the left. He's got to make this work for himself. Gangsta as well. Oh, gets himself a gun. Oh, he, even with the steps there, he's able to find Gangsta. That's going to be the round for himself. And calm, cool, and collected. Envy says, hey, there's a few rounds going in favor of Immortals, but we can still shut this down. And we saw Immortals kind of running the same thing there, going at A, and Envy seemed to already figure out how to stop it. Yeah, it's, it's definitely very hard to control, especially when there's a stack towards that site of just three players even. It just bogs down the choke point so much. I mean, for us, it's hard to kind of see what's happening sometimes as, as commentators being able to see everything uh, all at once. But for the players, it must be just as difficult. But yeah. uh, regardless, I I'm liking this, this play from, you know, sticking Caboose on that raise towards the B-long position. On top of that crane, I'll have to come back to that in a moment, though, because food will actually make a forward play there towards the A nest and, and beyond towards the belt. And that's actually going to work out quite nicely. Taking the aggression straight to Immortals is benefiting Envy marvelously well so far. Mummy loves that area. We see him working the pipes there in A over and over again. Just feels so confident vibing on that round as he picks himself up a 3K. And A seems to be on lockdown now. So we'll have to see if Immortal still wants to try their hand at that side. A lot of things you can do here, just waiting, faking. We've seen very fast rounds, and we'll see if that starts to be switched up here and they use the middle of the map. Yeah, I think that's a great point, Riv, that, you know, using the middle of the map. I think a lot of this early A presence, usually in your attack on the first, like, four to five, maybe even up to six rounds, you're trying to condition the defense. So in that second half of the first half, respectively, you can start to play off of the conditioning that you've, you know, put onto your opponent. So right. 
right now there's there is a huge argument for envy on the defense to really hold a lot of players towards this a side of the map it's we actually a push mommy. on the b side they they understand what's going on yeah i was gonna say mummy pushed up last round and there's always going to be that push from the mv side to say hey so much information is now grabbed utility is more useful over at a if we start to use it won't go to waste. The shots won't happen. Ostani picks up finesse real quick as Mummy again comes up with a few. This is his playground in A as he's rocking Omen on the split as we're seeing it for the first time here in First Strike on the opening map. And we have to remember both of these teams coming in, kind of rebuilding the Crashies food coming in for Envy as well as Immortals making having their own changes with those players leaving. So everybody here learning a little bit more of how each other play on uh, the newest map in Valorant. One yeah, there's definitely a grim outlook so far in the early rounds here for Immortals. We talked about the conditioning, how important it is to be able to, as the attackers, really make it so that the defenders have to respect what you're doing. And, well, maybe Gangster can still create an argument. It's yeah. a great headshot, but there is still three more players left standing here for Envy, and the time is not with him. And it looks like Food will find his flank. So just to finish the previous point, if you're in the position of Immortals, you really need to have that conditioning work. But at the moment, they're in a spot where Envy have not only adjusted, but they're actually winning the exchanges on A and in the forward positions of A as well. So this is the mm -hmm. point, this next buy round scenario for Immortals, you'd expect that they should go to whatever is the next sort of strongest approach to a round that doesn't include such heavy A pressure. They really have to switch it up at this point. Quite a few ultimates. They do have the lockdown that they could use. Looks like they're setting up defense behind them. They they love to play A here. Maybe they, they feel the options are there. B is too much of a choke. Mid's too much of a choke. Or Envy won't expect it and it won't be stacked one of these times or any. Three there though for Envy. It's going to be a quick trade and retribution kill there coming in for his teammate. FNS drops another one as him and Mummy are playing quite well on the A side. There's another kill as JC Stani is able to trade. Yeah, able to get some grounds here, but the question is if they're able to find the space and the time to find a plant. Get that spy pressure on Envy, but Envy looking quite strong here. Mummy and Food to yeah. finish things off, and yeah. once again, the brute force here on this A site isn't actually working out for them. It, it does seem like what the matches we watched in the November monthly for NSG is kind of the strat is played and then it becomes a, a big firefight. Even if the spike hasn't been planted, everybody's just kind of looking for each other. If they do keep going A, we definitely have to take a little bit closer look of where the smokes are falling, what those timings are, because they're doing something that they feel is going to work on the side of Immortals. And, and something slipping there with all those angles is definitely enough for it to fall apart right away. So good job by Envy to put up that wall four to one now. We come into round six, and uh, smokes are just going to go towards the mid side to deter a push. But again, Envy's getting info at B already. Yeah, and Immortals, with their approaches in the early round, they should expect this aggression. You can see, in fact, Shot mm -hmm. Up was looking for it because Envy's natural response is to take what is, is not being taken by Immortals. And consistently, they've had Garage for free, as we can see, you know, Food yeah. is just sitting in there with his Reyna. And so they can just hold these positions and just wait now to see what is the next move of Immortals. It's really, the ball is in, in Immortals' court at this point. They've got to make the next maneuver. But one thing you would want to try to punish is the rotation times for the defenders on this map. So to find mm -hmm. a kill onto Food would be fantastic if they can just whittle down the numbers, but that won't happen. In fact, we get a TP at the back of A there from JC Stanny just to get some info to see if that rotation has occurred. And it looks like yeah. it's going to be lo locked down for oh, Neptune. Right. Becomes tough as well. You see one, but you're like, wait, how many actually could have left? A nice tag there. Caboose goes down, FNS falls, and the chaos that Immortal starts to create allows them to get an advantage on this round. How are they able to work it now in a 4v3? Lockdown's there, and patience by Envy before the retake. Can Immortals put up that brick wall defense? Oh, this is very difficult, isn't it? That lockdown really cleared out a lot of space there. It's going to be down to the individuals here. Food kicks things off quite nicely. Oh! A second kill for Food as he tries to work these angles to dismiss one after the other to try and reposition here to get another engagement. Another one versus one. The Empress is really proving very beneficial, but Neptune will shut down Food, and that'll be the end of his run. But that was kind of scary for Immortals. Yeah, it was a really, really good decision to back up there by Gangsta. He, I think he knew that Food was vibing on that after that shot we saw come in through Gmo. What a hit. Just seeing the shoulder in the re was dead on his face. 
So that's a good way to stop the bleeding for Immortals. They get themselves into a position here to bring it to possible even first half or surpass Envy in the next few here. It, it was still an A though, DDK. They still like it. They're trying to just defend the backside a little bit. Again, we're not seeing too much Sentinel work deep and that turret's dropped right, right away and, and, and Immortals isn't really saying, hey, we have to cover our back. We need to keep going forward into A if that happens. Again, we get food there, changing his position, oh, going aggressive word. there, finding a kill towards the belt. That's beautiful from him. And I love to see that. He's been playing that aggression sometimes towards B long, towards the crane yeah. in the garage, and he just is mixing it up. And that that kind of unknown quantity that exists within food right now is causing problems. If you're Immortals, you're feeling the pressure here. You may feel committed to have to push through with Ford. Retaking the rest of the map with only four players is too risky. Mm -hmm. Even if the opponents know you're coming, they're going to have to just make it work. Yeah, and I love you're pointing out it's food there because the banned map coming in from Immortals was Split, one of the best for Envy. And on Split defense, it's Caboose that's going forward. So Caboose and Food switching up that aggression on how they're going to play, who's going to be going forward to get info on D. And they both seem to be able to do it well here. Defending A once again just seems to be the site. Maybe there's something we don't know. Maybe there's something we don't know. Two more kills coming in for Immortals. And this looks like they should be able to solidify the round with positioning. JC Stani makes that a little bit more possible. Yeah, this is very difficult. Oh, oh no. my <laughs> word! Thank you for that one. I, uh, I wonder if that was a, a no scope there from Mummy. That was very nice. I, I want to say it was. If, you know, it felt like it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Five to two then. Envy looking strong on the defense. I don't think anyone, that's, that's not a uh, phrase that is foreign to anybody, but it's certainly going to be a grim outlook for Immortals. One of the re reasons Envy is so deadly is how strong, of course, they can make these halves. They can really be such an overwhelmingly dominant team in these positions when they get going. And they're off to such a good start with their aggressions. And we see food on the arena returning to the crane position. Perhaps that we will see more pressure towards that garage there as well. Mm -hmm. Caboose is there too, as per the use. Let's see if is. these sheriffs can ring true for Immortals here. Some far shots, leaves it up to the Phantom for food. Oh, he gets the second one. The first one was just the calibration shots. And looks to find a third over there by Belt. The ramp up to that top of A. They will see oh, good shots there onto Caboose. It looks like they still want to get these through. Caboose able, able to find that uh, damage back onto his aggressor. Great cleanup here from Envy. Those first two initial kills, of course, really just. Yep. Oh, just rather disappointing for Immortals, set them back so far. But you can see that you know, Envy, you know, going into this matchup, they would have had a lot of time to uh, prepare. It, to me, it doesn't seem like it would be far-fetched at all that they would consider that, hey, you know, we want to get rid of Haven. We know that's typically going to be the most difficult map for us. Mm -hmm. And we know that Immortals is probably going to feel comfortable picking Icebox because of the kind of map it is. It yeah. can, you can kind of remove some of the advantages of that structure and calling that Envy has because this map That's is great more point. simplistic and more and potentially more aggressive. So in that sense, you know, Envy knew what was coming and it, so far it's uh, going quite well. That's, uh, I guess, Captain Obvious statement, but we need to see Immortals <laughs> find a way to switch this up because it's looking like we're just getting a uh, you know, the record's just on repeat at the moment. They're pushing A, they're getting uh, caught off by food from the flank. It just seems like the same thing over and over. That's where I was going to go with this next is, is we're on round number nine here. We have not seen any aggression even towards B. I don't think they've even put utility on that side. And it's been Envy pushing through B more towards that crane. And again, Immortals uh, setting themselves up to look towards this A side. And it, uh, I, if definitely works, if, as I can get my words out, if you feel like you're going to be a better shot, right? If you don't want to have utility start the game off, because it always does feel like there will be a single dry peak to find one of these angles. Here, they're going to use the drones on both sides and figure they may be coming up. But it just seems like a quick firefight first and not a strat to be happening here. And I think that obviously just makes it quite inconsistent when you're trying to attack Immortals. Getting a few kills onto this one, though, as they use the smokes to their advantage and let Envy push into the damage. Oh, he's going down. I don't believe he's able to use his his ultimate there. That's quite unfortunate. Showstopper would have been great, but Buddha's going to try to remedy this by once again being so incredibly annoying. Paranoia goes through, but the Leer will deal with food as it now is yep. on to Mummy. One versus four is not looking all that good, of course. Has to respect that Immortals will not throw this one away to him. 
And there we go. Finally, it works. You know, yeah. eventually, it's, it's going to work. <laughs> so, <laughs> Let it be that, known. Uh, immortals. Only and eight times will you stop us, says Immortals. <laughs> and you know what, Riv? You know, it, they're going to get their third round on the board. And although yeah, yeah, yeah. it really has looked very bad for Immortals, they're only down three rounds against Envy right now. And it may be Absolutely. the case that Envy might have similar struggles on the offense. We don't know exactly how it's going to look, especially in Valorant. Switching from attack to defense can be such a significant change for teams and their play styles that mm -hmm. it, we could really see this story you know, flip already. So, Absolutely. You see FNS on your screen there chatting with the team. And I like what Immortals did there, as I was saying. You know, they're going up, taking shots. They only use a bit of utility, and then they stopped. And they played to Envy saying, well, we want to know what's going on. Let's push through. And that's where they were able to receive the kills they haven't been getting. Once again, though, DDK, how about some A? Let's go back to that side. <laughs> Ultimate's ready. JC Stani and JMO looking to be ready there as we get the operator going to work for Mame. We know that can cause a lot of damage, whether he's on his jet or his omen. And we do hear a blade storm coming out. Answer it from food as he gets traded back. Yeah, that's a great pick though onto the jet. And there are some good ultimates available, at least there was here for Envy coming in on the retake. We'll have to see what they're able to do as Finesse tries to get some love here from Rafters, but he's being shut down. Two players on his position on that angle, not allowing him any entry. And he needs some assistance here from Caboose. And Caboose, well, he's not gonna have any luck and that will signal the end for Finesse as well. So Immortals, they're finally making these A attacks work. And you know what, Rip? We're yeah. seeing Envy mixing up their setups quite a lot, but because <laughs> because uh, it's pretty much the same thing every round for Immortals, that isn't actually helping them. And, and it may mm -hmm. even be making things more difficult for them um, because typically they've had some of their best performances, let's say, um, when they've had Finesse with that Cypher on the A site. But yeah. in that previous round, he was you know, mixing things up, going towards B long. So maybe they just need to keep things the same. And then for this round, they'll go for a stack. You know, I like this, though, because you think about where B is, how it's played. Once you plant the spike, you're almost forced to go back by crane area. As we have aggression here, I'll hold that thought. And it's going to be a trade back and forth as once again towards A goes the aggression of Immortals. Which let's really look at how they set this up. Focusing on the right side, Leers to the right. Spike's going to go to the left and go down, though, for a second but it was still just a flood of the immortal members. And I said, playing to that aggression of Envy and then some is going to be what can take them out. But does Finesse have just that to take this round back? Where is everyone hiding? Finesse, all the info there, thanks to the neural theft. We'll have to see if he can shoot his way out of this situation when it comes down to it. He's got to be on top of these shots and they're trying to avoid giving him anything. They know their position's being given up by that Snural Theft, and Finesse trying to jiggle this position, trying to hold the angle to see if he can catch one of the jiggles. Oh, they'll both actually line up for a second, but unfortunately for Finesse, Jamie will be quicker to the shots. And Immortals, we, we talked about it, looked like a very grim story to begin with, but mm -hmm. as things continue to play out on these just <laughs> unrelenting A attacks. As you yeah. said, Riff, not even really throwing any utility anywhere else <laughs> except maybe a dark cover or two. It's, it's, it's actually starting to work. That's impressive too, right? You're obviously you're going to have the majority of numbers, so you have a bit of an advantage presenting yourself to the execution. But still, Envy's not backing up to retake these. They're not able to come up with a solution. And I love the point you made that this map evens out that structure that Envy had to always push or have a set strat and Immortals a bit of chaos that could really work well here. And I think that is gelling for them on the side of Immortals. Showstopper's gonna come out. No answer on to that one. It shot up, gets Mummy to start this one off with the first blood. Oh, no. Oh, food. That's very unfortunate for him. Caboose, oh! actually, he's fighting oh, back, though. Natchin jumping straight up. Caboose, again, he is looking to do so much damage here. Oh, it's going to be very difficult to survive, though, but it will work out. The boom bot finishes off JMO, and Finesse is there right in the nick of time. Wow. Before Gangster can recover. And, wow. <laughs> that was uh, so explosive. Yeah, it goes back and forth, right? You, you expect a few of those rounds at the end when the ults are used back and forth. You get a few at the end. It's, a, it's kind of that rounds five, six, seven, and then towards the end of the first half where you see a lot of our ults can change what's happening here. The showstopper displacing a few along with the Hunter's Fury, and then, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> you hate to see it. Oh my goodness. That's, uh, that's something right there. Yeah. Okay. Very well, athletic. 
onto the pistol for the second half. Envy losing a grip of things on that first half. It looked so, so good. It was a story of what felt like dominance and maybe just a lackluster approach on the attack for Immortals, but they proved us wrong. We're going B. They've got those five rounds on the board. And we're going to get our first push towards the B <laughs> side of the map. Beat. That's beautiful. All right, so Cubby's check with the Sova drone. And the thing I was saying about B, and when you try to hold it as well, it's hard to stay in the site without taking a bunch of utility to the face. Then you might be pushed over to Crane, which means peeking out, you're just in this direct firefight all the way through Snowman in the middle of the site. Yeah. Whoop, J-Mo, though, opening up with First Blood onto Caboose to start this one. They got good placement here from the turret to make sure nobody hops up for some trickiness. And it looks like they're just going to let him plant and go for the retake. We'll see how Immortals responds here if they can get back in. Yeah, able to coordinate around the utility there is going to be very beneficial. The Lear's coming through, and well, Fu's position is known around the yellow container. We'll see if there's any pushes coming in here. They're just using the Cloud Burst to try to get it to halfway at the very least, and the spam coming through the smokes is paying off massively here so far for Envy, and they're looking to do all the damage required, and indeed, three players left alive. That is an unfortunate look for Immortals on their defense. What a good use of the Sukkush. It's a great use of the smoke. Obviously, they got stuck in exactly the spot uh, I said they would. I don't want to say stuck. They were in the spot defending I said they were, but able to spam through the smoke. No response coming in as Immortals tried that, but really nicely done to switch it up and say, we can go to either site. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like how that's a statement. It's like we have the ability to go left <laughs> or right. Well... We'll see how their play towards A is. Of course, it is the anti-eco here for Envy, looking to try and capitalize upon the superior arsenal that they are brandishing in this round. And so far, so good. Although there is a stack here towards the A side. So that guesswork from Immortals is correct. But now they have to try to find a way to get those kills. It's going to be very difficult. They're, they haven't really not invested at all into utility either. So. It's going to have to be, I think, some mistakes from Envy for them to struggle or, or lose a round here. Yeah. And I love this. Bit of pressure. They're already making a case that they're going to stay on this A site, but in fact, it's a full rotation. Great stuff there from Envy. First, the use of containers and snow pile there. As you can see, them moving around. Crashies is trying to take an inner route to make sure nobody gets himself into a spot. They can drop Envy and cat and mouse. They don't even know each other are there. I love these situations. Oh, down. Oh, what a right click from Neptune. Says, thank you very much. Not sure it can even pick up that Spectre, though, as now it's going to be a fight here towards the out. How? Oof. Nice fight. Crashies onto JMO, but will they be able to answer back? Crashies again onto Neptune. He says, no, not this time. We're just farming on Ecos. Yeah, this is definitely worrying for Immortals. You know, it took Immortals a, a while to sort of figure out how to make their a hits yeah. really sing against Envy, and for Envy, they're just straight off of the bat finding that success. They're playing the entire map. We saw that initial pistol. We saw them defending in the anti eco. So now we get that first gun round. So this is really where Immortals need to take the stand, need to find their momentum going into the rest of this half to recover some of these rounds, to recover the mm -hmm. deficit. And it's an initial pressure towards the B side of the map as well as mid coming in from Envy. So we'll see what the response is here. We're seeing Jamo up where Caboose was so often in the first half. It's a very, very dangerous position for sure. Take flight. Let's see who's on the front line. A push in. Oh, oh mommy drops JMO. He says, no, you can't push on that B like we do. Is a lot of trays just back and forth. That's one thing I love about split is the action can happen right away. You have a mid traditional peak. You could be up on top of A or you could be over at B and it really starts to switch how the map works. Who needs to cover what as you start rotating back to cover sites with at least one person there, or maybe for the full retake, which becomes difficult here with all the angles on split. One minute left on this round as Envy start to pull away here. It's JC Stani playing defensive and gets a kill on Caboose, but he gets hit by FNS. So it looks like Envy's saying, we know Immortals is going to want to push up a bit. We'll use that to our advantage and get some 1v1s. Shot up as well, playing into that trend, and he's going to find the spike, but there is Mame right behind him. One thing Immortals is great at DDK is just being right at each other's heel to help out. Yeah, no, I, I, there's so much that Envy did well in this round yeah. to go through. I mean, 
Caboose is initial play in the delay and the information gathering period at the mid round is fantastic. But we'll see first before we go into that what Neptune's able to accomplish here on the Killjoy. He has not all that much health available to him, just 60, so he's quite weak. He has the turret there as well, but he doesn't want to drop that willy nilly because he'll give his position away. Now he's been spotted. He yeah. could possibly use the turret to engage with or to cover him here. Tapping the bomb. Trying to make it so that they will feel pressure to try to close in on him, but they, they know exactly what's going on. No spike defuse coming through for Neptune, and Finesse cleans it up. Definitely be a big map here and put a lot of stress over onto Immortals if this one can be picked up. A sigh of re relief a bit, I'd say, in the first half, but here trying to focus up. Immortals are kind of losing rounds one after the other. Guns coming in again on the side of Envy, and it looks like it is going to be a bit of a Sheriff and Inspector save here. Not too many ultimates on their side either. They are still stacking up, and that's one of the things. If you're coming away with few kills, you're not going to ult as much. Your fraggers aren't being able to get up there. Your duelists can't enter the rounds, and everything starts to fall apart a bit. Yeah, and I think you know one thing that we saw in that last round, a demonstration from Envy in terms of their capability as a team, is understanding that if they get the information, they can understand as a team how to rotate correctly and to abuse the timings correctly to get a significant advantage and to eliminate some of the variants which exist when you just try to take gunfights. And that's something that Immortals have been more of the mind to do. And that's one way that Envy are showing that they're a better team right now is their capacity to play the mid round, their capacity mm -hmm. to gather information well from it. And creating presence everywhere as well really, hel uh, really helps Envy abuse the rotation times and how bad they are for the defenders. You have to make some really hard calls as a defenders. Yeah, absolutely. It's For this eco, it's it's like the death ball strategy. We saw five a day. Now they're rolling over to the B site. Here on Snowpile, Caboose takes one down. Looks like he's cooking in the kitchen. Too many cooks, though. JC Stani drops Caboose. And Crashies is going to be able to find a few towards that Snowpile as well. They're just having a heyday out here as they have fun on Icebox. 11 to five though, as Envy seems to have found how to take out Immortals. That was an eco, and we did, I think we saw there, DDK, obviously you're going to respect the team on eco. You don't want to get taken by surprise and just run into a shorty or run into a sheriff in the face. But as Immortals didn't show themselves, Envy slowed down. And I think that might even be on defense. One way Immortals can start to get Envy to make some incorrect moves. I don't, it's all speculation at this point. Envy seems like they just have a hold on what can happen in this game. And here again, they'll start to maybe do the first fake we've seen here. Yeah, just just showing that presence, not making it look like they're definitely going here or definitely going there. There's always yeah. some kind of question to it as far as Immortals are concerned. So with that said, though, what we are able to see right now is that Envy are encroaching on that A-bomb site, moving quite quickly to see if they can find, like how much distance can they cover before somebody spotted here? And Shotup might be that first player, as we can see the Boombot is coming for him. He's gonna force him to another angle. This is getting oh. quite tenser on this A side. As <laughs> some, they're, they're waiting for something to give and it might just be Shotup. Well, it seems like that's the first area of kind of action we see right here on pipes each time, but it's good to play defensive. Maybe that's too much area. Maybe that's the correct area to give. But we do see a lot of times teams taking area for free, use less utility, get into sites a bit easier. They do a little bit of a use of utility here by Caboose. Goes straight in, looks for the back onto the rafters. He'll find one to his right. That's Gangsta going down. Four HP now as he infiltrates the spawn of Immortals. What kind of havoc can he wreak in this position though, DDK? <laughs> yeah, oh, oh no, my Caboose. Laser onto Neptune's face, and <gasps> this is looking quite desperate as the fast rotation will come through. Envy, though, they have better positions. This is what we're talking about. They always are able to engineer the oh best positions. Word. And this is another round, Riv, where we saw how far they, they push onto the A site. They had Finesse waiting towards Garage, making sure that no one was pushing. They're making, they're creating a huge presence, mm -hmm. huge threat towards the A site. So either they're all rotating safely, the defenders that is, to the A site to defend it, or they're going to push mid, which was covered, I believe, by Crashies, or they're going to push that Garage position. As neither of those things happened, they made the guess that, okay, most players are going to be stacking towards that A site. We'll convince them by running the Showstopper through, then get the TP across. Just out position yep. opponents. 
So a bit of map play here by JC Stani could come out of that Omen ultimate. A few are on the side of Envy as well. Empress ready to be used there by Food as he picks up his first kill. And Caboose will drop JMO even though he tries to cloud burst his way out of that snow pile area. A little reset here. And it's already Food too far forward. They're going to be able to trade each other. And again, Envy right there behind to get the trades in, working beautifully on the first map. And we got to see a little Icebox DDK as they take the win. Absolutely, and we got to see as well Envy doing what they do so well across every single map, which is just phenomenal fundamentals in the yep. information game. And this is